Today we're going to learn how to set a panic hook. And a panic hook is um, it's something that lets you have um, your own behavior you want whenever panic happens because uh, by default, so if you have a panic that happens in Rust, then um, it'll, by default, it'll, it'll, it'll give you the thread name right here. So thread name, uh, threads main, which is the name of the thread. Uh, right here there's only one thread and then it uh, just says like ex explicit panic which is when you don't give a, a special message uh, or you don't have like any error info and then here it tells you um, where it happened and then if you put in your own uh, your own message so uh, oh no it didn't work you could put that into the panic macro and then it'll replace this uh, explicit panic with your own message like there and um, and the one thing about panic to remember is that it's kind of a, a funny name because it's actually not the program freaking out. It's uh, it's actually quite ordered. Uh, what happens is it prints up this uh, this message, and then it uh, it unwinds the stack and it frees up the memory and then it exits the program. And that's the uh, the default behavior in Rust. Uh, so it's it's actually not very very panicky. And I don't know, maybe panic was chosen because because you freak out when it happens, like the programmer panics when it happens but the program itself is just uh, is just fine so it just sees that there's uh, there's uh, there's no way to continue the program and that's when it uh, unwinds everything and, and just exits so that is um, just a quick review of panic and a panic um, a panic hook I'll just show you um, here, here's the documentation so what happens is you have this um, there's actually a module uh, standard panic and inside there is uh, this is the function, the uh, the main method to use, uh, set hook, and it takes this um, takes this box of uh, dynamic send and static. But um, for, the, uh, for the meantime, what you uh, just remember that you do set hook, and then you uh, have a box new, and then um, well, actually I'll get back to uh, VS Code and. We'll make it as simple as possible. So go, uh, whoops, go use standard panic. We'll do that. And we will set up a uh, panic hook. So you go set hook and you put in this uh, box new like that. And there you go, there is your hook. So what this does is, um, so this will set up uh, our custom behavior when uh, when a panic happens, and um, so actually this um, if I just run do cargo run from here, it'll actually tell you nothing. Like this is just the um, the message after the panic is over, but there's uh, there's no there's no info. It doesn't tell you the thread name, so um, it's inside here that you um, that you print uh, or you can do anything you want. Basically, you have this whole scope to do whatever you want um, so you can say it didn't work and then that's all it's going to say when you run the program so there you go it didn't work you can see all the other information is gone so with your um, with your custom hook you can um, you can uh, hide all the, all the details for example and then um, uh, you can Put in pretty much uh, anything you want, but the uh, one thing to remember is um, you definitely don't want to panic inside a panic hook because you can see you have this whole this whole scope to work with. And if you're um, if you're starting the uh, the panic before the unwind and there's another panic, then what it does is it uh, is aborts, which is just totally gives up. It doesn't uh, clean up the memory itself, and it just gives it back to the uh, the operating system to um, to take care of so if you uh, so here we have a uh, panic here uh, we have the hook set so it will print uh, it didn't work but then it panics and then it's going to do uh, some weird stuff so I'll just show you what happens there so thread panicked while processing panic aborting and then it's uh, so this is Windows so uh, it gives this uh, status stack buffer overrun which is uh, probably not what you want. And if we go to um, the playground, which is uh, Linux, you can see it'll look a bit different. It'll have its own, uh, there you go, 
timeout, the monitored command dumped the core. So uh, yeah, aborting is um, something that you don't usually want. Although actually some people do like to use abort because uh, the code gets a little bit smaller like when you're building the binary because there's no uh, no cleanup code. So you'll have like a, a little bit smaller uh, binary. And so sometimes people will do that and um, but you don't want to abort by having a panic inside of a panic that's really ugly. So the way you do that is I'll just uh, copy and paste this. And so you go to cargo.tomo and if you do that, then uh, so profile.release uh, panic equals abort. So that means when you're uh, when you're building in release mode, then it will uh, it won't even bother um, cleaning up the stack. So uh, that's all you have to do if you want to uh, abort. So you don't have to panic inside a panic. If you want to abort, just uh, put that in your cargo tomo. And so back to this. Um, so yeah, the, when you set hook, you have this uh, this thing here, panic info. So let's uh, let's bring that in and uh, see what it looks like. And in the uh, the example in the documentation, uh, you saw that. Um, let's see, info dot uh, payload. So let payload equals info dot payload, and you can see this is a uh, ref dine any and dine any. Um, there's a video on how dine any is used to um, like you can uh, downcast it to a concrete type and here uh, panic info is it says it's um, it'll almost always be a static uh, there you go a static stir or a string and so inside uh, here you can see uh, so you uh, you go dot payload and it'll give you the payload and um, and then you can um, you can try to downcast it, and because this uh, this could panic, you um, you of course don't want to unwrap, so you want to uh, handle the error. And then if the panic uh, panic occurred, then you have this uh, this payload that you can print out, and if not, then you can safely just say um, a panic occurred. So uh, we can do that, and then um, then I'll just show. Um, I have this uh, this quick example of uh, it's kind of like a fake example of why you know sometimes you might want to use a, uh, a panic hook. So we have this pretend uh, pretend database. I'm going to use the rand crate because uh, there's some uh, random numbers database. Uh, so we have this uh, pretend database and it's got some data and the data is just going to be a vec of strings and then we'll pretend that we have this uh, this thing called uh, shutdown database, this method. And we'll say, uh, okay, we're running this program and then whenever it, uh, if it panics, we want to uh, try to shut down the database before the panic uh, happens. We have like this separate database doing its own thing. And we would like to uh, safely try to shut it down before the panic is over. And so that is kind of like a, uh, a possible reason why you might want to use a, uh, a panic hook. So let's say that, um, so depending on the hour, um, if it's like business days, then our business hours, then uh, then we'll try to shut it down. If not, then we'll just uh, give up because nobody's working and um, maybe uh, we just like to let it crash and then come back in uh, the next morning and uh, and see what happened. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we've got like this, uh, this fake shutdown database uh, method. And then um, so if the hours are between uh, 6 and 18, which is business hours, then we say OK. And then H, if uh, H is greater than 24, say we got like some weird, weird uh, input and somehow we got an hour that is greater than 24, then we'll give this uh, this error. And the error is going to be a string. So we'll just say uh, internal error, our H shouldn't exist like something for us to fix later on and then otherwise 
So if it's uh, between 6 and 18, then it's okay. If it's greater than 24, then we've got a, a weird problem. And other, otherwise, it's going to be uh, a non-business hour. So we go error. Whoops, where did my uh, error format? And where did my page go? There we go. Hour H is not working hours. Uh, can't shut down properly. Something like that. So that is our fake uh, shut down the database function. And then uh, here in main, we're going to set up the, uh, the panic the panic hook. So standard panic set hook. Mm -hmm. Set hook. There we go. Uh, box new and let's bring in the info and then so okay so panic happens what are we going to do well first let's uh, let's say uh, something went wrong and let's say we have some uh, we have some Korean employees in our company too so moon day guys and guests and uh, we want them to know to see right away that something's gone wrong have it like pop out in the uh, in the logs so they'll notice it right away and then so we will print out the panic info panic info <clears throat> and by the way panic info does implement uh, display so you can just do that and it'll print it out uh, quite nicely and then next thing this is why I have the random crate here uh, here we're going to have a function called get hour and this is going to <coughs> represent our uh, our problem which is a um, let's mute RNG. so this is the uh, what you use in the uh, in the rand crate to get uh, a random number generator and then gen range and then zero and up to 30. So this is going to uh, return a number from zero to 30. And of course, we don't want anything above uh, 24. But this is uh, representing that we made uh, uh, like a logic error somewhere. And sometimes we're getting like this weird uh, number that's greater than 24. So that um, that is our pretend function that uh, represents uh, what we're doing wrong and then so back inside this panic cook I'm going to get the hour let hour equals get hour so this will be in between 0 and uh, 30 <clears throat> and then we're going to try to shut down the database shut down database hour and then um, so this is a uh, result and uh, so it might be okay and if it's okay, then we're going to uh, print out shutting down database at uh, hour o'clock. So that's good. Uh, it might be an error. In which case, we're going to say couldn't shut down shut down database, and we're going to print out the error. And there we go. That is our panic hook. So you can see panic hooks are usually um, like you can print that you can print out some extra info. You can get the regular panic info, and then you can do some uh, some other stuff before the um, the panic is actually finished. And then finally, we're going to say uh, mute uh, DB. We're going to make this uh, this fake database uh, data vec. So it's just an empty thing. And we'll go db data push, put some data in, some data to string. And our database is working okay for a while until this happens. Database or something broke. Like that. So that is the. Uh, pretend example and you can see um, 
the RAND crate is, uh, is not that big. So there you go. So what happens is, uh, so we got this panic here, something broke. This is uh, it's pulled into the uh, the panic info here. So um, so it's right here, panic info, panic that something break, something broke. So uh, you can see our um, our payload does get taken into the info uh, info struct here. And then before that, uh, we have our custom uh, message inside the hook. And then <clears throat> you can see, um, so we couldn't shut it down because our three is not working hours. So let's try a few others. Uh, our 18 is not working hours. 18 is because everybody's gone home by then. They're leaving the door. They're going out the door. Um, whereas here, shutting down database at 6 o'clock. Um, wait, 6 o'clock? All oh, right, we start work at 6. Okay. And then there should be one more where it says, uh, where it's greater than, there we go. Couldn't shut down database, internal error, hour 28 shouldn't exist. So that is, um, yeah, um, that's kind of how you would, you'd want to use a panic hook. It's with, with, whether you want this, uh, this custom behavior when something, uh, something goes wrong and this, uh, this fake example will maybe give you a kind of an idea of how you uh, might want to use it in some real software.